What's up everybody, this is Aircrete Harry, and today's video is going to be a quick update on my slab for my dome. So for this mix, I added sand to my cement and 40 gallons of foam to this mix. So this Aircrete that I'm moving around here with my bull float, it had a much heavier, denser, creamier mix than the normal Aircrete I make with no sand. So I could definitely see a big difference in having the sand in it when I was bull floating it. So the slab was unfinished. It needed to have more aircrete added to it to level everything out. So you can see my hose right here. I was pumping the aircrete in from my uh, mixing station. And here's cement rake that I'm using to move the air creed around. Cement rake is a very important tool when working with cement, especially when you're working with large areas, you're building large slabs, you need a cement rake like this to move your cement around. In this case, I'm moving air creed around and it's a very important tool to have. Another important tool to have when you're working with air creed are rubber boots. And as you can see here, I'm wearing my high C boots. Uh, they are very comfortable boots. And the lower portion of these boots are rubber. And then you can see the upper portion are neoprene, making it a very comfortable boot to wear. You could really move around with it without the rubber creasing into your leg and causing any type of pain. Yeah, these are very comfortable boots. Let me know in the comments below if you've used sand in your air creep mix and what your experience has been. Okay, so when we built this dome, it was during a workshop and it was not enough time to finish the slab, this central part. So as you saw, I filled another four to six inches back there of aircrete here. So this aircrete slab is down. Next, I'll smoothen out any of the high spots and then we'll put a hard coat, a stucco mix, sand cement. And we may be using radiant floor heating. So we'll run our tubing and then cover that in about two to three inches of stucco cement mix. And then that'll be complete. Now the air form is still on. It, this gets removed. It hasn't been removed yet. You can see here the wall comes out really smooth that's a huge benefit to using the air form because the air form is so smooth that the cement gets that smoothness so for the most part you could just paint but if there's any wrinkles or crease in the cement from the air form you can you could put a joint compound and make it smooth. But the majority of it is, comes out smooth. So anyway, that was a little update on this dome. This is going to be our kitchen dome. Right now, Hi-C has an activity called Hi-C Product Testers Recruitment. Hurry to sign up. The promotion is going on until November 13th, 2022. Consider signing up on the website to become their free testers. Remember to use the special invite code HARRY, H-A-R-R-Y, to sign up. You could be selected in Hi-C's free product test program and will also receive seven exclusive coupons worth $100 total. You can apply the coupons to your order purchase.
Another great feature is High C offers a 100 year warranty. Simply register your product upon receiving your footwear. The neoprene rain boots I'm wearing in this video are very comfortable. They keep me dry and warm. I included the direct link in the description box below. High C has a great variety for you to check out. These neoprene rain boots are super easy to clean too. Remember to sign up before November 13th, 2022.